Welcome guys to another Ask Zenla. In this uh, workshop, what we're going to do is we're going to buy a domain and we're going to as a, and we're going to set up as a custom domain inside of your Zenla platform. So first thing I'm going to do is just buy any old domain. So I'm going to check in here. This is uh, GoDaddy's website and I'm going to go. I'm going to call this Zenla demo. We're going to just search domains. So here we go. So we've got a zenlademos.co.uk um, and for 0.01 for the for the first year with a two year subscription. So I want for the first year I'm going to have Zenla demos online. Okay, just going to add that one. I think or zenlademos.com is quite good. So it's the first two years of registration. So we're going to add that to cart. And that's added. So we're going to continue to cart now. And it's going to ask us now. I just want to buy the domain. I don't want the website space. Um, so, so full domain, uh, privacy, select plan. No, thanks. So start your website for free. Build a better website. Don't want that and your Zenla create an email address that matches now you might want to have email address but I'm going to do no thanks to that uh, these are all the extras that they add on but I'm just teaching you how to set up a domain here so this is just a dummy site a dummy URL for me to show you the process so it's going to go through here uh, I want to do this for one year so that looks good so that's the first year I'm going to go to checkout now and just buy this okay so the first thing is to create an account so I have put some uh, my stuff in there and I'm going to decline the personalized offers and updates I don't want any of that and I'm going to create the account so now our accounts going to be created on the GoDaddy platform and these are what I use to log in okay And now it's going to take me to my payment options. So here's my payment. I'm going to pay by PayPal. So I'm going to go through the pay process. You don't need to see me paying through PayPal. So I'm going to just click the PayPal, pay through that, and then I will be back with you. So after it's gone through pay for PayPal, I now need to just go down to the bottom and click next or save. We'll let that go through. Now it's going to give me my PayPal so I can complete the purchase now. 11.99. It's processing that. That should be finished in a second. And then I will have that domain. So now it's complete. And we've now got that domain. So under here, we come down to my products. And it's just telling us here before anything's available to us, we just got to verify, verify my email address and then it should be good okay guys so I have verified my email address so I'm just going to sign back in now and I should not have a problem so here we go and that should take me to my account which it has and we have now registered Zenla demo so let's let this come up it's taking a little bit of time and there it is so I have this domain and we have the DNS records which we're going to change so because this is a brand new domain it could take a little while before it kind of registers properly so I'm going to uh, just come back to this video so in a fraction of a second I'll be popping back up again where I will have left this until tomorrow to go in and set the uh, DNS so that it picks up on our website okay guys so I'll see you in a few seconds okay guys so now we have bought our domain
Uh, we're going to plug it into a test site that I've got set up. At the moment it's education.newzendler.com. So we're going to come into the site and to custom domain. Okay, so you'll probably enter via the dashboard. Just hit site and then custom domain. Okay, now remember that custom domains and subdomains are only available if you have the pro and the premium plan. Okay, so next thing to do is we're going to enter our domain name in, which is going to be this new site which we've got here that we set up. So it's Zenla Demos. I'm going to copy that. I'm back into here and we're just going to paste it in like this. So that is it. So I'm going to put uh, www on this as well. Okay. So www.zenlademos.com. And we're just going to hit the update button. So this is going to throw up, um, set up the DNS and CNAME record. So follow these instructions, gives you a little bit of help to a support page. Once you've completed the DNS setup, click here to confirm. So we need to jump into GoDaddy to the account again, and we need to set those settings. You can, of course, like I said, click here and it'll open a new tab up where it tells you about setting up your site. Okay. So let's jump into GoDaddy now and we're going to go into uh, make sure you're in your account. You can see your domain. We're going to go into DNS here. This is going to bring up the DNS records here. So we've got one called CNAME. So we're going to just edit this one and it should work. So I'm going to click in here and leave this uh, default on www. I'm just going to hit this edit here. So I'm going to point this to our actual name. So I'm going to come in here, grab this copy it back into the domain editor and put this in and click save just one last thing we need to make sure we do is once we've set up the DNS on our GoDaddy site we need to click here to confirm okay so then it's going to come up this message 24 to 48 hours now usually it's quicker but it's going to take that time so as soon as it actually just checks and comes across from uh, GoDaddy um, the Zenda site will actually set up the SSL installation and it will actually verify and be good so I'm going to leave this now and we'll come back to it and you're going to see that it will have all populated and our domain name will work okay guys welcome back so it's been some time now um, and I have now um, got the domain set up so remember our old domain our Zenla domain was education.newzenla.com so now if we put in the Zenla demos we'll see if it pops up so as you can see here now Zenla demos is showing the site so it all works however uh, we have a problem because if we use www in front of it uh, it's going to work fine as you can see there but if I just use the zenlademos.com with no www then we're going to have a problem so let's just flick this in and what you're going to see is the GoDaddy site come up so what we need to do is we need to set a redirect up so that anything going to zenlademos.com goes through to www and then it will pop up so we need to do that in your actual GoDaddy account so we're going to log into that and we're going to set that redirect up and then you have it working with both without and with www and then we're set right guys so what we need to do is log into your GoDaddy account go to DNS okay and what you're going to find then is you're going to go to my domains and you're going to click on this little dots here and you're going to go manage DNS that's going to take you to the page that we set up this part for so that when it connects www it connects to the Zenla site okay um, because that's domain and then it connects to the Zenla domain so what we need to do now is we need to tell it to fold it um, without with or without to www because we know that works so we come down here to folding and we're just going to type in this one at https i'm going to put it in here and we're just going to put in the www.zenlademos.com so what this means is that without it it will forward to Zenla demos with it it will have it anyway because it's in the c record so if we click save to this now 
Um, you might have to wait um, sort of quarter of an hour or so for it just to um, sort of update. Uh, but once you've got that set up, we could then should be able to come out of this and we should be able to go into Cognito and try both of these things out. So I'm going to just test it now. So I'm going to go into an incognito window and I'm going to type this in here. I'm going to type HTTPS and the full stroke, full stroke. So we're trying it without the WW and we're going to hit enter and you're going to see this come up. Uh, don't worry about it. Just give it a bit of time. Uh, if I now try it with the WWW in here, we're not going to have a problem so there we go so that works so we still got to test that the other one works so i'm going to come back here again for https and then full slash, full slash and hit it and it will actually work um got it in incognito but if i go to advance and we go proceed um give it a bit of time and you're going to see now it comes up so if i go back to my window here and i just take away this www bit and hit enter then I'm still going to get this security thing come up, but we can bypass that. And you're going to see that it's still got the locked icon. It's going to take a little bit of time, but that's how we can set up the redirect to work. So it redirects to www when you're not, when you haven't got that part in there. So if you look at it now, it's fine. Yeah. So it's just redirecting now properly as it should. Like I said, it takes a few minutes. That's why we were getting that error come up. But now it's working fine. So we've got it working with both with and without WWW. By setting up that CNAME record and then setting up folding at the bottom, you can then set that up. So that is how you can use GoDaddy and you can set that up. I've already showed you how to use cPanel to set it up. So that should cover um, some of the things that are using cPanel. But these are pretty much the same from every host so there's no point in me doing lots for every single different host if you do have a problem you can always send to support of that hoster and you can say look I'm having problems I need to set this up with and without www and I need to go to this domain and they should help and set it up for you so that's how we can do it using GoDaddy